<clears throat> Hello and welcome to another Raggies beer review. So we're going over today to Wild Beer Company. Um, obviously, just before Christmas, was it before Christmas? I can't remember now. Um, they obviously went into uh, to be closed and saved in some form by Curious. Is it Curious Brewery? Um, Curious Brewing. So. Um, Here's their Everstone Hazy New Zealand IPA. Got it from Waitrose, 5.8%. Uh, Adventures in IPA New Zealand Hops. A juicy hazy IPA with a succulent stone fruit flavours from New Zealand Hops, Wahiti, Rakao and Nectar on. Um, Wild Bear Company of Westcombe, BA4, wherever BA4 is, I have no idea. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's been a while since I've had a wild beer. Uh, I famously reviewed uh, Ninkazi, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm still not a fan of farmhouse beers, and uh, yeah, I kind of ripped that beer to bits. Um, I think if I was to review it again now, I would be more, what's the word, uh, to tolerant now because my beer journey has developed since then. I'm getting a peachy um, vibe from the colour here, although it's looking like a thick orange pour there. So it's a good looking pour, um, orangey pour, good bit of carbonation, centimetre of white head on there. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's great that the brand didn't die. However, it would have been great if it, none of it died in the first place. Um, and we were only talking about this earlier. Um, and I know a lot of breweries go through issues and that. But there are lots of companies out there uh, uh, that, um, well, I'm not saying these are, that during COVID, uh, got money for to help companies big grants and stuff like that and when it comes to paying it back they've um, folded the company so they ain't got to pay it back and then just opened up a new company and uh, this seems to be quite a common practice now I'm not saying um, wild beer are doing that but um, it just could show you in this world there's you know some of these rich buggers are good at doing that sort of thing. So as we can see, it's a lovely looking orange pour proper. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? It's got a nice, look. it looks a thick pour. Obviously the New Zealand hops. You got a lovely tropical aroma on there. <clears throat> nectar on, don't often see nectar on used a lot. I do I've seen it in a in a few brews locally to be fair. And Wahiti and Wakao. If that's how you pronounce it obviously. Oh and the taste. Quite dry, quite punchy. Um tropical but those two elements kick in at the front. Um I've actually got three wild beer beers. It's funny isn't it? You don't review a beer from a certain brewery for a year or two, and then all of a sudden three come in all at once. Um, yeah, because I've, I've got the uh, Under the Sun Session Hazy IPA and Pulsar, another Hazy Session IPA. Yeah, does beg the question if they're both the same beer. But... Um, yeah, beer balls looking a bit more healthy these days. Um, I don't know for how long because I'm still not buying beers. I've still not bought any local beers for a long time. Um, and like, like I say, I've got to uh, put my finances to, I mean, I just paid for last weekend going away. So... Spent a lot of money on that. 
and uh, but it was nice to get away you know you, you, you need a break don't you every now and again um, so now any money that I had saved I've got to just keep to one side now ready for buying uh, mini kegs and um, yeah seeing what mini kegs are out there I'm thinking of getting two every couple of weeks. Um, maybe buying another, another another four or five beforehand. Uh, there's some local breweries that are, are quite receptive and and good for working with, and they're the breweries that I, I like to support. Because um, at my beer festival, not only you know I've got my breweries that I like, and I've got the locals that I'm supporting. And then maybe maybe the odd brewery come in at the end of the day, um, and they start checking brewery websites and see who does what. I haven't done that for a long time, so that could be interesting. To see who's selling what, you know. I don't know if you get the same as me with Facebook these days, but I hardly see anything. I don't see posts from friends and family. All I see is bloody adverts and some bonkers. Uh, <clears throat> adverts amongst them as well and stupid pages that I've never been interested in they just show up and it's like what the, what the hell is this I don't watch this shit I mean I'm a Nottingham Forest fan so yeah I can take so much Nottingham Forest news and then when it comes up with Derby and Man United and that I thought not interested piss off um, and as much as I snooze and 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 close them down the next day they're all back again and it's like oh sakes and uh, I mean Instagram to be fair it doesn't seem to be as bad as Facebook um, Twitter's a bit random as well to be fair and TikTok well 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 TikTok's just uh, <clears throat> eye opening <laughs> Ooh. I must take a photo of these three together um, and then start adding more to it. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this beer festival. Um, need to get somebody who's good at opening mini kegs to open them beforehand. Uh, probably at some stage take them into work and put them down the cellar um, and tell people to keep their bloody hands off them. Uh, that might be the best way because the cell is pretty cool all year round so good for beers to go in and then the beers that need a bit of coolness on the day really cool um, bang them in one of the fridges but the cell is good enough anyway so enjoying this beer nice to have a chat and a beer it's Friday night so you'll see this Saturday I'm basically reviewing a day in front at the moment uh, Trying not to be too far in front, um, simply because I, I like the beer reviews to, for myself to be relevant. So if someone comments and they've heard me talking, uh, and especially if it's a comment, you know, literally within a day or two, that I still remember what the hell I was talking about in some form anyway. Start. So I still think it's got a dry at the start with a punchiness that kicks in and tropical throughout. I won't call it a juice bomb tropical, but it is tropical. Um, a lovely beer from Wild Beer Company. And uh, I do apologise for that in cars video. Uh, I was in my earlier days and I've grown up since then uh, in beer review form at least. And... Uh, I think there is a time when all beer reviewers, although some do it a bit more often than others, uh, like to be a little bit controversial. And um, 
yeah, I've grown up from them days, you know. Um, there's a way of saying it without being an absolute twat. And uh, that to me now, that me now is, is the way I am now. I, like I say, there's a, there's a way of putting your point across without the need to be, um, you know, overly... Uh, Oh, see. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, the bear itself, yeah, it's going down nice. Going down very nice. Um, after a long week at work, I've only been at work four days, and it feels like a long, bloody week. Um, it's the start of, well, hopefully, the start of proper spring now. Uh, stuff starting to come alive. I've just done a load of sowing. Um, I've got spinach to plant next week. I've got leeks to go in. A bit small at the moment. We'll wait till they get a little bit bigger. Leeks. Um, garlic chives. Normal chives. Parsley. Mint. Potatoes have already been put in. Raw beans are already in. Uh, I've got radicchio to start so soon. I've got to get that sowed soon. Get that planted as well. And that went down really well last year. Radicchio. Swiss chard, I've, I've got that. Uh, I'm not growing as much as I, as I have grown in, in the last two seasons. Because a lot of what I've grown never ever got used. Um, just got decimated by bloody white fly and... Um, White butterfly things uh, and caterpillars, sodding things. So if there's none of them there, it takes that out of the equation, you know. Uh, we hope. Growing a lot of tomatoes, that's the one big thing I am growing, or at least trying to. You know, um, it's never easy. Uh, I haven't got a proper greenhouse at work. I was growing them in the other office. And while the vat was turned, they were kicked out of the office and put in the marquee, which is not the best place for them. There needs to be a proper like a greenhouse or a warm room to really bring them on. So they're going to uh, be stagnant from now. So uh, it is what it is on that side of things. Um, yeah. But, uh, yes, there should have been a bit of dialogue before they were kicked out. Uh, very disappointing on that side of things. Um, very. Ooh. So, yeah. An easy drinking, punchy, tropical uh, IPA, I presume it is. Yeah. Yeah, hazy New Zealand IPA. Yeah, really nice beer. Uh, it's got a bit of flavour to it. It's not just a boring, hazy IPA that's got tropical flavours and that's it. You know, there's there's nothing to it. It's nice. It's a good one. Good 4.4 .4 out of 5 for me. Would I drink it again? Most likely not. There's not many beers I do drink again. Um, so that's, you know. But if this was in a pub on cask or keg, and, you know, it would interest me. We don't see wild beer in Nottingham anyway. Uh, so the likelihood of that is is probably next to nothing. I mean, I presume wild beer from now on are going to be bottle or can exclusive. Uh, yeah. Uh, not that I know, obviously. It'd be interesting to see if they bring out their, their back catalogue and barrel age stuff. And hopefully, I did, I'm sure I did hear that the brewer or well, one of the brewers that actually worked for Wild Beer has moved over to Curious, I think it's Curious anyway, uh, to carry on brewing Wild Beer, which would be good. I mean, hopefully the tap room's reopened under the Curious brand. Um, you know, management of companies. Uh, I did hear some rumours about crowdfunding and stuff. Don't know anything about it myself, so I can't really talk about that in any any knowledgeable fashion. 
uh, and I might be even thinking about them like a different company altogether. Um, but yeah, ooh, crowd funding can be dangerous. Uh, <clears throat> I ain't got no money to crowdfund, so ain't gonna happen with Raggy at any stage of the game. But yeah, I enjoyed the beer, and that's really all you got to think of in this one. Thank you for watching. See you soon.